you know, America's not unique in its sins hmm. as a country. We're not unique in our evils, to be honest with you. Um, I think where we, where we may be singular is our fu a refusal to acknowledge them mm. Mm. and the legends and myths we tell about our inherent, you know, goodness uh, to hide and cover and conceal so that we can maintain a kind of willful ignorance that protects our innocence. See, the thing is that when we, the Tea Party was happening, we used people were, we were saying, pundits, oh, it's just about economic populism. <laughs> it's not about race. When people knew, people knew, social scientists were already writing that what was driving the Tea Party were anxieties about Economic demographic anxiety. shifts, that the country was changing, that they were seeing these racially ambiguous babies on, on Cheerios commercials, that the country wasn't quite feeling like it was a white nation anymore. And people were screaming from the top of their lungs, yo, this is not just simply economic populism. This is the un ugly underbelly of the country. See, the thing is, is this, and I'll say this, and I'll take the hit on it. There are communities that have had to bear the brunt of America confronting, white Americans confronting the danger of their innocence. And it happens every generation. So somehow we have to kind of, oh my God, is this who we are? And just again, another, here's another generation of babies. Think about it, that two-year-old had his bro bones broken by two parents sh trying to shield him from being killed. A woman who has been married to this man for as long as I've been on the planet almost, lost her, lost her husband. For what? And so what we know is that the country has been playing politics for a long time on this hatred. We know this. So it's easy for us to place it all on Donald Trump's shoulders. It's easy for us to place Pittsburgh on his shoulders. It's easy for me to place Charlottesville on his shoulders. It's easy for us to place El Paso on his shoulders. This is us. And if we're gonna get past this, we can't blame it on him. He's a manifestation of the ugliness that's in us. I've had the privilege of growing up in a tradition that didn't believe in the myths and the legends because we had to bear the brunt of them. Either we're going to change, Nicole, or we're going to do this again and again, and babies are going to have to grow up without mothers and fathers, uncles and aunts, friends, while we're trying to convince white folk to finally leave behind a history that will maybe, maybe, or embrace a history that might set them free from being white. Finally. Finally. What else? Lord help us.